my legacy was is already no my came with my legs our legacy is exceptional already so <laughs> we have been here for many times already so I, we are not stupid to to know how important is tomorrow game is maybe one of the most important games since we are together here we cannot deny that uh, for the competition for the rival for the for many things but I said to the players so leave it like a, a huge opportunity enjoy the moment uh, how fortunate we are we are incredibly lucky to be here it's in our hands it depends on us we don't have to do uh, I would say something exceptional is just to do ourselves and win one game to reach the final. And we're going to give everything, we're going to do everything. I have an incredible feeling about the team uh, and whatever happened. It just thank you so much to 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 them to bring me to bring me to bring us all of us city fans to be to be here again. I have an idea to do something differently that we have done in the and that is just for the fact that to be more fluid in attack. But I think it's going to happen the natural way for the fact we play at home. At home, we have the feeling that we we feel wow, free relief. We, it doesn't matter what happens. We go, we go there, and that is a feeling I have. And, and I think hopefully tomorrow we can we can have that feeling. It's only I'm concerned. So be ourselves tomorrow. It's only the rest. I I defeat. I played ten semi-finals for the Champions League and I lost eight. So I lost more than I than seven. Seven. I lost more than I win, so I know that feeling. So we always had the feeling that, you know, football. There are many things you cannot control, but at least to try to be ourselves. That is my, my only wish for tomorrow for my players. Pep, you said a minute ago that you want to, you need a better performance this week than the one last week in Madrid. But what aspect of your game? No, the, 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 you will not. You will. Hopefully, you can see tomorrow. Right. I cannot tell you here. Otherwise, uh, Carlo will be. Uh, it's nothing special, eh? so don't, don't think I'm going to do. I'm not overthinking tomorrow. Don't don't don't, don't worry, guys. Your battle last week with Vinicius Junior was one of the highlights highlighted on social media after the game. What's it like to play against someone like that? Is that an ultimate test, and how important is that personal battle in winning the game? Um, well, good afternoon. Um, first of all, I don't think it's just about. A and B. I think it's a team game and obviously it is a personal battle where you're coming against one of the best players in the world. Um, but, you know, I've faced many over the years that have been, you know, just as good as him, but I think he's in the form of his life. So, you know, whoever is picked to play in that position to defend against him, you know, it's going to be a great battle. Going back to that moment between you and Vinicius after the final whistle last yeah. week, um, why, why did you decide to go and hug him? What, what did you say to each other? I went to hug him because he tried to rainbow flick me. <laughs> so it was kind of more like, um, please don't try that again because I don't want to be a meme or anything. Um, but I think, you know, boxers, they fight, they have a good battle and then they shake hands after. And I think that's the level of respect that I do have for him. Um, it was the same with any other player that I feel when it's a good game, you know, you go and give them that level of respect because they deserve it. You know, they have seen a few few tweets and we're having a little bit of joke with Gundo yesterday. He turns into Prime Zidane, doesn't he, um, in, in the last couple of months. And But that, that's just what these players do. You know, the, the born winners, the, the top world-class players. And sometimes you have to shine and these seem to do it, you know, in the business end of the season. I think it's big to every one of us in that dressing room. Um, we know the goals at the end of it. Um, it's a massive week for the club. Um, we've put ourselves in, you know, a fairly good situation, you know, compared to two months ago, and that's in the Premier League. But you know, moving forward into the Champions League to go to the Bernabeu and um, get a one-one uh, to then bring it to the Etihad, where I think we've been, you know, more than confident.